Well, hello, you wonderful humans of the interwebs, and welcome back to another astrophotography livestream. We got a little bit more cloud cover tonight than I uh, anticipated, uh, but this is going to be what we're going to be photographing tonight while playing some Stardew Valley. I've also got some new mods for Stardew Valley to be checking out with all of you tonight, so it should be should be relatively good to go. I'm hoping I had to pour my water into my mug that um that will be okay i was outside kind of mapping the sky and trying to figure out where the cloud cover currently was in relation to what i wanted to be photographing and i'm pretty sure that we should still be able to photograph the bubble nebula i just did a slight plate solve and our mount is currently right over there uh, but i want to get us like right on target perfectly for this bubble nebula uh so let's see if we can get us right there and um so our mount is currently pointed here in the sky, so we're going to see if we can get that right over there. Uh, I just sent a command to my laptop outside, for those of you that are new to this, uh, to tell our telescope to point right here. Also, is this, um, I think this framing is off, so lenses, telescopes, oh, of course. Of course it loaded all the other ones in. Um, sorry, hold on, just let me, <laughs> let me fix this. So you can actually see what the framing is going to look like. Because we have a new focal length of our camera or of our telescope. Because we are using the complete, well, almost the complete big boy telescope. Uh, we have the big telescope and um, we don't have the new camera yet. But otherwise, we are using the nice big new mount that, uh, that we got as well as the uh, Skywatcher Esprit 150. Which gives us a total focal length of 1,050 meters, which is our millimeters, which is pretty darn good. Uh, I had a fun tonight, and among us, oh, Angel Cutie. Love how you kept blaming me, and I died after every time. Angel Cutie, I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry, but I'm had you had, glad you had fun. And Rachel C, thank you for the super chat. Thank you very much. Uh, so let's go ahead and run a plate solve here. So this is what our image is going to look like. Um, still not... So basically, with this focal length, we can't get any closer right now. But it's a hell of a lot closer than we were before. So we're going to go ahead and plate solve, make sure that our mount is actually pointed where we're at in the sky. This will also tell us if we have clouds there or not. Uh, but it looks like right now in this area of the sky, we don't have any clouds. Our um, This is already lined up pretty good. Uh, so we're looking good so far. I'm excited. Uh, Jacob, oh, you can already see the bubble. There it is right there. So you can see... You can see a little bit of the stuff, and this was just like a 10 second exposure, so that is actually really good. That framing is exactly how we want it. Um, this might actually work. I was outside and I was getting super nervous that we would not actually be able to photograph anything tonight. Um, so I just enabled our guiding. We're locked onto the star. Uh, we should see our guiding data coming in here in a second. Yes, yep, there we go. All right, so we are guiding. All right, we're good to go. Everything looks solid. No errors so far. Uh, we'll see if our guiding is locked in. So this is a much heavier telescope, so I don't exactly know if the balance is perfect. The balance was a little wonky, but we'll find out. Our, our guiding here will tell us if it's good or not. Uh, Nasty Beast in Museum mug, not your new sippy cup. <laughs> well, I can't put this. It's a uh... <laughs> museum. Thank you for the super chat. And Jacob... Thank you for the super chat as well. And Abigail and Christine, thank you so much. And Abigail, sweet baby Jesus, you are awake. Oh my goodness. I hope you are doing well. Uh, so let's see here. We're going to do a 10 second exposure here real quick. Now, I know I'm kind of rushing into this because I know there's clouds outside and I really want to make sure that, um, that we start getting some photos on this tonight. Uh, so I'm kind of rushing through this. I'd usually do a lot more explanation into what we're doing. Break out the Tim Tams. I already had some Tim Tams tonight. Wearing my Astro Corgi sweater and watching the stream. Hell yeah, Christine. Hell yeah. So we're going to see an image pop up here in just a second. Um, and I just want to check our focus. I can tell we're, we're pretty out of focus, uh, which I expected. I kind of rushed outside to try and get it in focus here. Uh, so let's go um, 100 steps this way and see how that does. I want to try and get these quite a bit more in focus. We can already see a little bit of detail there, which is nice. Um, just got my William Optic Z-Star 73. Amazing scope. Ooh, nice, Jacob. Very nice. That is a good scope. That, that is actually one of the ones that I was going to be recommending for our stuff here. So we're downloading this image right now. It is definitely a good scope. Okay, so we went up. So we need to actually go down 100. 
And then down a hundred more. And that should be pretty darn close. So right now we're trying to get our scope in focus. <clears throat> but thank you all so much for the super chats. Thank you for coming to hang out with me tonight. I do hope you're all having a wonderful night. We're going to see a really, really cool image tonight. And I am super excited. Uh, I've been really wanting to photograph this one for a while. So now that we actually have a telescope with a focal length far enough to actually be able to see this bad boy, I'm excited. <laughs> uh, the only time I would want to be awake at 3 a.m. is for Astro Stream. Hell yeah. Already obsessed with The Last Campfire? I need to play that. I have a cold trying to get better on by my by Monday. Happy I caught a stream. Ah, I wish you the very best. I'm sorry you're not feeling well. Okay, so that actually put it more out of focus. All right, I'm trying to rush it a little too much. I think maybe we'll just take it a little bit slower here. You can see here that these stars here are getting more out of focus. So we want to make sure that these get smaller. This is my first time focusing this telescope. So, um... You can see the, the more distant stars are actually in focus, but we want the foreground ones to be in focus. This, these might be hot pixels too, so. I think they actually are hot pixels. We gotta go quite a bit more. My uh, motherless goat hoodie, and by the way, hell yeah, Rachel. Mine actually just uh, got shipped to yesterday, so. I just want to see these stars here start getting more in focus. There we go. That's the ticket. All right. We'll try and do a little bit at a time now. I just want to keep pulling this up. We'll, we'll be able to see our cloud cover coming in here. Uh, able to make... Okay, so... Our balance is a little off. We wouldn't be getting that alert if it wasn't. I'll have to go out and balance it real quick. Eat blueberries and drink throat coat tea. You never get colds anymore. I don't. I'm not, I don't have a cold. Catch them before they start. I haven't had a cold in a while. I've actually been pretty healthy lately. There we go. Now we're cooking with gas. We will. <laughs> we will wait. Go balance. I'll. I'll go balance it in a second. I got this. Had a ridiculous day doing online math. And not, not really math. Now I need Stardew, Astrophotography, Face Masks, and Scotch to relax. Oh, yeah. Sweet Caroline, glad to see you here. Sorry you had a rough day, but I hope it gets much better. Uh, our guiding, maybe, you know what? I think the guiding might be okay. I think we just had a gust of wind or something come in. I think this might be about as good as we're going to get on this. Without spending a ton of time. I don't have like an autofocus routine set up for this this yet. I'm glad we can already see the, the bubble shape a little bit with just 10 seconds. This should go down to about 1.9. Nope, it's definitely... Definitely not. Alright. A great job, members who played. Oh, tonight's uh, just Among Us with members in general is always really, really good. I had a lot of fun with tonight's one. I'm sad I only got to be the imposter one time, though. I need my Stardew background music. It disappeared on us. All right. That's looking a little bit better. I think we're just going to keep going a little bit more. And I'll just grab Stardew here real quick. Well, that's going, and we'll load into the game. At least that'll bring back the, the background music. We gotta have some babies in Stardew Valley today. 2.71. 2.71 still. Our star shapes, I definitely want them to be quite a bit better than that. All the boys in my class have discovered the games they play through your channel. Oh, that's awesome. <laughs> hey, Stamp Stamp, what'd it do? How are you doing? I was hoping this focus would be a lot quicker. One. 
two. There we go. I think we'll be honing in on it here in a second. Started my last year of uni this week. Thanks for the perfect Friday night stream. Oh, Olivia, congratulations. And thank you for coming to hang out with us for a late night Astro live stream. Guys, super clear there in Waco, Texas. Nice. All right. We're starting to see a little bit of progress. So with the other telescope, I can click like two buttons and get it into focus just because I'm so used to actually focusing that one. Where's all the good jokes? I don't know. I don't know. I can see all the stuff here, though. 0.9. All right, I think we were actually pretty close, I guess. With what we had before. The reason why they might be funnily shaped is probably a little bit of funky stuff still in the skies, just distorting the, the light from the stars. I don't think we're going to get too greedy tonight. Yeah. All right. We're going to go back down to here. Then we should be good. Apartment hunting done. Signed a contract today and couldn't be more happy. Astro stream and frozen pop tarts to celebrate. Hell yeah, Vanessa. Congratulations. And thank you for letting us know the good news. Have an extra frozen Pop-Tart for me. And Danielle, thank you for the super chat. Glad to see you here. All right, yeah, so this is about as good as we're going to get, I think. Um, we're going to go down one more step. We're going to see if they go up or down. We're going to try and hold in a little bit. Andrea, thank you for upgrading to a gold tier membership. Thank you so much. Make sure there's no cloud cover. Our guiding, no more errors. Yeah, I think we must have had a big gust of wind or something. 2.52. All right, we'll go down one more. <laughs> hey, 33169. What did the fish say when he swam into a wall? Oh my god. Museum, thank you for the super chat. Well done. Well done indeed. All right, well, we've only been focusing for a little while now. All right. We'll go back here, and we'll actually take our first photo. Uh, so what we're going to do is we're going to try and take 10. Do I want to go to 300? I do want to do 300 seconds. So that's five minutes per photo. And then we want to dither every frame. And we'll go ahead and hit play on this. Oh, oh, oh. Whoops. There we go. We got to cool our sensor a little bit. That might be part of the issue as well. A museum, thank you again for the super chat. And Ginger, I've had so much fun playing Among Us with members. Come on, lag. There we go. Um, it hasn't been ruining friendships, but creating them. Love you, Ashley, in this community. Oh, thank you so much, Ginger. I'm glad you have been fun. It's it's been great to be playing and finding another game to play with the community. It's been fantastic. So I'm glad everyone's been enjoying it. All right, while we wait for that to cool, we'll take one more photo. I'm so glad you enjoyed my Galaxy Brain plays, <laughs> Jessa. Thank you so much for letting me play. Thank you. That was those kills at the end were beautiful in Among Us. That was really, really well done. Beautiful indeed. Three point seven six. I wish I got could get these a little bit more in focus, but I think we've already done quite a bit. I don't think we're gonna get it much better tonight. Like we've got all these stars, but they're I think they'll I think they'll be okay. Let's go ahead and start our first photo sequence. So right now what we're doing is we're photographing in H-alpha. And we're going to be... I already showed off, but for those that are joining now, uh, what we're photographing specifically is this right here. This is the Bubble Nebula. This is an emission nebula about 11,000 light years away. So we are looking 11,000 years into the past to be able to photograph this thing. It is a very small and very, very faint object in the sky. So 
The fact that we're even able to photograph this from my backyard is pretty phenomenal. Pretty phenomenal indeed. Um, but let's go ahead and pop into... Actually, before we do that, I'll bring up our image stuff. So we'll check in on our images here in a few minutes and see what we start gathering. So I'll bring this back up. That way we can keep track of our stuff here. And we'll pop into some Stardew Valley for a little bit. There we go. The space bubble. It is beautiful. It really is. But thank you all for coming to hang out. I've been so excited to finally get another night of astrophotography in. Brandon Ludwig, thank you so much for becoming a gold tier member. Thank you. Welcome to the community. Sweet. We got some fairy stones. We can give one to our lovely Sophia. Love playing Among Us for the community, but when I'm innocent, they're out for blood. That is how it goes. <laughs> That's for sure. All right. Got our fairy stone. You've already given Sophia a gift today. I know. I want to talk to her. We go to the Spirits Eve Festival tomorrow night. Ooh. Ooh, I forgot about that. Absolutely, positively lootly. We got to make them babies. Oh, sports star. No, thank you. Miranda, how are you doing? Esme, Lini, Jessa, Francesca, Emily. I didn't do my typical uh, greetings today. What is this? You found these old seeds in a drawer at home. Um, So this is from George? What are the mint seeds? I didn't even know that was a thing. Okay. Uh, new cooking recipe, brown sugar. Okay. We got some Melalha <laughs> saplings. Oh, you know what? This is probably from the new mod I installed. I bet it is. Okay. So, we we got something really cool as an addition to this. Started reading Neil deGrasse Tyson's Astrophysics for People in a Hurry. You have re-sparked my space obsession. Oh, it's just Sam. That's awesome. That is awesome. So happy to hear that. Hell yeah. All right. So in the last live stream, we wanted to just take out these strawberry ones. So tell me when five minutes has been up. So that way we can go tab over and see what our nebula is starting to look like. What's the new mod, though? Y'all want to take a sneak peek of Rooski at it? Hmm? Hmm? I was going to do a video on it and then I completely forgot. Just woke up from three hour nap. Feels great. Nice, Jamie. And thank you for coming to hang out with us for a late night live stream. Well, I guess if you're in California, it's not super late night for you. But still, naps are good. You've completed a third of the game already? Can I hoe this, please? Thank you, game. Thank you very much. Might have to grab the Red Bull. I was thinking I had I'd have enough energy for this, but I have been going to bed a little bit earlier the past couple days. Tonight's gonna be a late night though. I am I'm gonna take advantage of whatever time I have with this new telescope. I'll tell you what. I'll tell you what. It's gonna be great. Stayed home from sick work today. I had a three hour nap after dinner until 9 p.m. Nice. Naps are life. I wanted to take a nap today and I did not. All right, so I'll go show you all the uh, the new thing. We got to go catch... We got some fish already. So we're, I'll show you the new area that we got. It's an aquarium. It's so cool. You regret no naps? Oh my god, Abigail. Stamp, stamp. I don't promise to make it to the end of the stream. You got this, stamp, stamp. Can y'all hear the game audio good enough? I think that's probably a little bit better, eh? You definitely sparkle in the sunlight. <laughs> yeah, so I got a I got an aquarium here, so let's go check that out real quick. Oh, chronic fishing. Huge fan finally to catch one of these streams. Thank you so much. Can't wait for the next grounded stream. I'm excited for the next grounded update too. Not wait. Alright, do we have a Oh, y'all wanna see our first image? Yeah, you do. Yeah, you know you want to. Boom. So there it is, the Bubble Nebula. 
So we got the bubble and we've got the surrounding the surrounding nebulosity around it. It's a super cool nebula. I would also like to photograph the eye of God tonight. Um, so our stars, our stars aren't perfect by any means. They're definitely not 100% perfect. It looks like maybe, but you know what? I think it's going to be okay. I definitely got to work at getting the scope in focus a little bit more, but I think once we stack all of our images, it's going to be all right. We don't have like donuts, which is good. But I am happy with the way this is coming out. This is much, much, much closer than we've ever been able to get on it. <clears throat> donuts? Uh, so when, you're, when your telescope is super out of focus, the stars will look like donuts. They'll have little holes in the middle of them. Uh, or they'll be, like, just super fuzzy, which ours are a little fuzzy. Like, the edges are not pin sharp. I definitely need a bat knob mask for this focal length, I think. Um, any chance of getting an elite dangerous astrophotography stream? You could visit the nebulas you are shooting. That would be super duper cool. Uh, I'm definitely, definitely up for that. I used to play elite dangerous. Here you go, Goldie. Are you excited for your new home? <gasps> I'm missing a cutscene. Hold on. I wanted to record this. All right. Look at Goldie. Oh my God. Look at her face. She's adorable. Just a happy little clam fish. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Greetings and welcome to the Stardew Aquarium. You must be the farmer Willie told me about. Tis a pleasure to meet you. Ah, yes, your reputation precedes you, lad. My face, <laughs> it's all wonky. I was wondering if perhaps you'd be willing to help me. As you may have noticed, we're a bit short on fish at the present. Unless you count Sweet Goldie back there, eh? Look at... <laughs> I hear you're a competent angler. Indeed I am. Not really, though. Perhaps you could consider donating a few of your catches for our display. I got you. I got you, dog. I got you. You can deposit them here at the counter. Only take uh, me a moment to set it up. And do not fret. We have a state-of-the-art technology to ensure they live a long and healthy life. Like dear Goldie. What is she, like 100 years old? Look at her so happy. Nice. Excellent. Thank you. We shall keep a catalog of all fish that are on display. This is super cool. Oh, one last thing. Do we get a special fishing rod by chance? You may have noticed the submarine on the way in. Is uh, That is our gift shop. We don't have a lot in stock currently, but as our exhibit grows, so too shall our wares. Oh, I like that. Uh, so the photography shop I work at, we can make metal prints of photos. I was thinking it would be cool to send one of your nebula pics your way if you'd like that. I would absolutely love that, Rachel. Absolutely. That sounds awesome. So what is the... <gasps> oh, super secret squirrel fish? Okay, I had to figure out what that pentagram is all about. Rachel, thank you so much for the super chat. That is super duper cool, actually. I would love that. And Mel, Melone, thank you for becoming a member. Welcome to the computer. Welcome to the computer? Welcome to the communiter. We've got a couple little super secret squirrel areas up here. It's a fish shrine. There's an upstairs. There's all sorts of things going on here. I'm playing Animal Crossing while you play Stardew Valley. Nice, Liana. I hope you're doing well. Thank you for the super chat. Get all that awesome stuff in, uh, in Animal Crossing. We got an update soon. We should be getting a trailer about it soon, actually. Finish the metal that's really shiny. This thing would be so cool on Nebula Picks. I, that, that would be super duper cool. I will have to order that. That would be awesome! Alright, so I'm guessing we go up these stairs to check out this back part. This is a mod. This is the aquarium mod. 
we can go up here into this. Does these these actually work? Oh, and then this goes down there. I like how this has been put together. That's so cool. I see tag stream. I click like. Well, thank you very much. Thank you. I'm assuming this set of stairs goes into there. Okay, yeah, it does. Perfect. Perfecto. I guess we'll give him a fish, huh? I would love to donate a fish. Donate these two bad boys. This is the submarine. Let's see what kind of items we got in here. We got a bikini top, prop tank top, sailor shirt, kelp, a fish bowl. <gasps> it's adorable. With a cute fishy inside. There are company that make metal prints that sponsor streamers. Nice. Very nice. And Jiro, thank you for the super chat. There are 83 fish. Sweet baby Jesus. Now, the more we upgrade the aquarium, the more this area will actually fill up too. And I like that it's actually like um themed for the seasons that's super nice i like that a lot yes sir re doodles a bikini top you say <laughs> i live in here what it like i wish we the only thing that could make this better is being able to bring our horse here i'm just gonna check on our image oh so we're having a little bit of issues here some 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 we're having a little bit of stuff going on. All right. Yeah, I think I got to go balance the uh, the scope because that one was a little out of focus. I hate to have to stop, but we're gonna for a second. Which is unfortunate. So I'm going to go just double check the balance on the scope and then I'll be right back. <clears throat> Which means we're gonna is it clouds no 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 it's just a, a very very heavy scope and it was just a little out of balance so i will take care of that and then we'll be back here momentarily geology rocks but ge so everybody just go take go to the bathroom real quick and we'll and we'll be back it'll be great and tiff and i geology rocks but geography is where it's at <laughs> tiff and i thank you for the super chat you wonderful 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 human All right, I will be back in about one minute, maybe two. And we're back. I told you it'd only take a second. <laughs> Why the accent, you ask? I don't know. 
I don't have a good answer for that one. Uh, but what we do need to do now... We need to actually go over here. And realign the scope to the stars. So I'm hoping now... Everything is... Oh, hello. Everything is better. Which it should be. The balance should be quite a bit better now. Someone said marines biology. Ooh, marine biologists represent. Oh snap. Nice. Uh, so this program right here is super cool. If you're interested in just looking at the stars and kind of learning uh, what you can actually see in your skies and maybe doing stuff like this with your kids or just for fun or with a loved one even... Um, you can use it. It's called Stellarium. You can even use it on your phone and you can literally go outside and just point your phone at the sky and we'll show you exactly what's there. A uh, super, super cool program. And it's what I use. I have it actually linked to my telescope. Uh, and that's how basically the telescope and the program send commands to each other to let each other know where they're looking at in the sky. Uh, but you can use this obviously without a telescope. And you can kind of start learning about the sky and what's available in your skies. It's just a really, really cool program to check out. Uh, and it's free. So why not, right? Why not? Why are you so far down there, huh? What you doing, program? Why why you do this? All right, so let's go ahead and just do another plate solve. Because I didn't... Act oh, camera connection required. Auto. Yes. We're going to do that plate solve. And then I realized that we did not do that. You have Stardew Valley on four different systems? Nice. Going hard! So right now what we're doing is we're just running that plate solve again, which is gonna... Basically what this does is it takes a picture of the sky and then compares it to a database of stars, and then that will um, send the command back to this program to let you know where your telescope is. Where? Oh, it's way up there. Sweet baby Jesus. And then you can redo the alignment so we can go like this again. And this is going to send the command back to the telescope to hone in on the star, which is the one we want to be centered on, pretty much. And we're just going to do this auto one one more time, because since I balanced the scope, I probably messed something up a little bit. Amanda, what's going on? Became a member today? Hell yeah. No idea how to use Discord. Discord can be a little daunting, but it's you can learn it pretty quickly. Professor Tag at his best with space. There we go, ladies and gentlemen. We are perfect. Exactly where we want to be. Now this time, we're actually going to store this. Because we're going to be photographing this for... I'm going to be pro photographing this probably for a week. Um, so we're going to name this Bubble Boy. Because why not? And what this does, this actually saves these coordinates along with uh, the coordinates stored in the telescope. And we can get the same exact framing for our photo every single time we use those coordinates, which is super good. It makes um, framing your photos and being able to take images over multiple nights substantially easier. So let's go ahead and uh, reconnect our camera over here. I use two programs for this because I like the plate solving software and astrophotography tool a thousand times better than I like it in this one. Uh, both of these, well, this program is free, but I like every single other feature in Nina way more, which is what this program is. Um, so that's why I switch between the two if anybody's curious about that. Now, we're going to be photographing in H-Alpha to start off with, because that is going to be where we get 90% of the image is going to be in our H-Alpha, because this is a, um, it's an H-Alpha or an H... It's, an, it's a hydrogen region in space, so it is very heavily made up of hydrogen gas. And since we're photographing a narrow band, which means we're photographing very, very specific wavelengths of light, and only those wavelengths of light. Like, I could have the moon right next to this, and I would not be able to see, um, like, any light from the moon in photographing in H-alpha. Uh, we could in, like, O3 or something like that, but with H-alpha... We're basically just photographing, well, we're essentially photographing only the wavelength emitted by hydrogen gas in space. Um, and then we're going to do the same thing with two others to create our RGB image. 
If you're wondering why it's just black and white, it's because we got to combine three different colors or three different wavelengths of light into one color image. Super cool how it works. It's the same way the Hubble telescope takes photos. Oh, you know what? I need to actually turn on guiding, you fool. Oh my god, stop it. What is it doing? Stop it. Own in, lock on that one. And start guiding, please. Thank you! Now we should be able to see if our guiding is going to be giving us problems here. It shouldn't. I'm curious to know why that star moved, though, so much. I think it was in a different spot before, wasn't it? I think we're all right. I'm just going to make sure that we don't have any guiding error errors, which... We're definitely still having declination errors. Our deck is over one. You can't really see it. Um, so the, the balance is still not great, which is really frustrating because I spent a long time balancing the scope today, and it's still not great. <laughs> uh, but anyways, let's go ahead and get back into here, and we should be good to go. Hopefully, cross your fingers, your toes, lick your elbow. We're going to need some good luck because um, we don't have a lot of time to be wasting on balancing today. And uh, hopefully we can just take some good photos. Big old scope boy is heavy. It's 40... It's actually 52 pounds with everything we got on it. What song do planets listen to? Neptunes! Hell yeah! Please, please get a wool... A whole bunch of data for this nebula. This is the coolest nebula that you're photographing, I think. Thank you, Miguel. And I certainly, certainly will. Knows you're streaming, therefore be goofing for you. That's typically how it works for me. Um, did I miss out anything else? And Dragon Fruit, thank you for the stream. I'm glad you're enjoying Or thank you for the super chat. I'm glad you're enjoying it. Um, I'll have to share a picture with the community. That is usually good. The scope takes pictures as good as the Hubble telescope. I know it's one billion. <laughs> uh, so let's go back to the Stardew Valley station. I don't... It definitely doesn't take photos as good as the Hubble telescope. But I'll tell you what. With this telescope and then my next upgrade, which I don't... I don't know if I'm ever going to be able to get. Maybe. Um, with the with the thing that I want to get next after this, which is a CDK, which is essentially what the, what the Hubble telescope is. Oh, no. Oh, you've got to be kidding. We got the... We got clipped into this fence. What a disaster. We got clipped into the fence. Next title screen. Okay. So will the image naturally be very red then because of the H alpha? Um, so... If you were photographing this with a color camera... It would be very red. Um, because color cameras, so like one shot color... Um, it would be photographing the majority of the of the H alpha spectrum and there's more red or there's basically it would be very red biased on a color camera if we put all of this data into it's going to be very green the way we do it but then we we edit out the green the green bias to balance the three colors a little bit better uh, so one shot color very heavily red biased and it stays that way um, oh, I don't want to give her a stone. With the Hubble palette, which is what we're doing, it's very heavily green. And that's when we remove that green with the, uh, with that program. Thank you for the super chat, Abigail. Because the HA gets assigned to the green color spectrum in the Hubble palette. Which is, uh, and then Oxygen 3 gets assigned to blue. And then Sulfur 2 gets assigned to the red color spectrum. And there's significantly less data of, um... Or signal is what it would be considered, what it would be actually be called. There's significantly less signal of sulfur 2 and oxygen 2 in most nebulas. The Marta Salsa. Thank you so much for joining your first astrophotography live stream. Hell yeah. How can we know what the true colors of these nebulosities should be? So, believe it or not, our eyes if we looked at these images with our eyes if we could actually see this nebula they would be black and white 
our eyes are actually not capable of seeing the colors within these nebulas. Um, so if we were out in space, you would not be able to see it. Um, there might be some instances where that's not 100% true, uh, but our eyes are actually not set up to be able to see them uh, like this. You could you could definitely see a lot of it, like when you're... It's kind of hard to explain, but um, color... One-shot color is more accurate to the color. It's, it's really... It's really hard to hard to explain. So Hubble palette is way more accurate as far as the data within the nebula is concerned because you're pulling out specific wavelengths and you're eliminating any type of signal that's actually not there. So it, it is substantially more accurate as far as what it looks like, um, but less. it is considered a false color image. So did we ever decide on what we're naming the big boy telescope? <gasps> There were so many good options. There was one that made me laugh. I'll have to pick it up. Why is Ginger so nice? What did Ginger do? I'm so lost. The Chalupa Telescope. <laughs> you guys can put some names in here. There's a, there was a ton of really good ones submitted on Twitter. I should run a poll. There was one, something about space pants that made me laugh. I can't remember who posted it, but there was a couple really good ones. Is being very nice in chat? Because she's very nice. Unless she's accusing you of being a murderer. Then not so much. Alright, um... Okay, our telescope is... Okay, I think our telescope dithered, which is why it moved. Let's see if this image is better. Ah, oh, there we go. Ha <laughs> ha! Nailed it. Hold on, I'll show you guys. So, for those of you that were paying substantially more attention, you might have noticed something specific with our um, with this with this graph here before, right? It was like all over the place. It was bouncing all over the place. Uh, it was kind of up and down. You can see that we're significantly tighter now. Um, so this means that our balance is. Probably not perfect, but it's really, really good now. Uh, so you can see here that our declination error is 0.12, which is really good. You want it to be under under 1.0, and we are very low now. And uh, we're not getting any little star trails. This is a star behind a star. Uh, so our image is going to be substantially sharper now. This is really, really, really good. Uh, aside from the fact that our stars are still a little out of focus, I'm going to have to spend a lot of time tonight really honing in the focus here. But the main focus of this anyways is the nebula, which is in focus. So we're, we're good. The nebula is perfect. Uh, it's going to come out nice and sharp. And we're actually going to be stacking all these images together. So um, we are we are golden. Golden. Um, so where are we going now? We want to go catch some fishes. So we got to go down to the ocean. We also are going to keep trying to make babies with Sophia. And I had to do so much to get this up and running today. So I had to... Man, I had to do so much. Because I didn't anticipate having clear skies today. So I had to actually completely unpack the, the telescope. I had to figure out... Because there's a ton of little extra things. Like, most people think you would just grab the telescope, slap it on a mount, and then put a camera on it, and you're good to go. But you have to, like, figure out, like, the perfect um, separation between the, the final piece of glass in the telescope and your camera sensor. Uh, so I had to, you have to, like, get the spacing perfect, and then we did, we did a lot today just to try and get this set up. And then obviously all the balancing, setting up the new cable management for the, for the system for a longer telescope. Getting it into focus, <laughs> which is difficult just to find a star out of focus. The taco scope? Hell yeah. Nothing like a good old taco scope. The bunny is scary? Don't you be don't you talk about my bun bun like that? You leave my bun bun alone. She's just trying to live her life. I'm gonna let those stock up. Also voted for the taco scope. I think one was, uh, Big Chungus was one that made me laugh as well. And then obviously lugging the 60 pound scope around was fun. 
I had to take apart a little bit of the other scope as well. Conco <laughs> scope. Big Chungus is great. <laughs> The chunky cows and piggies a mod? Yes, yes they are. Wait, is this not full of stuff? No, it's full of bait. Why didn't I catch anything? Oh, it's because it automatically goes in here. That's right. All right, so we're good. Did we get a level yet? We need to. We just. I just want to have some babies, man. How can you make money fast? I go to the mines, but I need to be more productive. Um, year one in spring, tons of potatoes. It's going to be a lot of work, but believe me, the, the tons of potatoes will help you get money faster in the first season, which is way more important. A lot of people will tell you to use um, things like uh, cauliflower, but it, it takes way too much time. You end up having not enough money to do anything for too long in, in season one. Aside from that, just lots of crops. Fishing can help out a lot. Um, but I just really focus on crop management for the first two seasons. Went on my break at work to see you're doing astrophotography? Hell yeah, May. How are you doing? Thank you for coming to hang out with us. Oh, so we wanted to craft the... Oh, I know what we were trying to do. We wanted to craft the... Um... The tractor. Thank you, everyone. Oh, Ginger, thank you. Foster such a kind and caring community. Well done. Thank you. And because all of you, all of you, are, oh, I don't remember what life is anymore. You all are the reason for the amazing community. What is the, I think it was just batteries, iridium, and then money? Is it batteries, iridium, and money? Or is it like silver? I guess we'll go check. Besides the spammers that ruin our fun. Yeah, I don't know why they do that. Your consideration, Chonk Master 2020. <laughs> Maybe we'll name that for the next one. I'm excited. So there, there's a new Radian Telescope CDK coming out. And I would love to get that to be able to photograph some stuff with it. A longer focal length, which will allow me to also do planetary photography. Uh, Empoleon, thank you so much for the super chat. How are you doing today? <laughs> the Chunk Master 2000. Uh, construct farm buildings. So we want... Iridium bars. Oh, it was the iron bars that we needed. Okay. We'll grab these bad boys. And then we needed iron bars, which is going to be in the cave. I think I think we're good. Boom, baby! Most expensive piece of anything in the game. It's so expensive. Without tag, there would be no tag nation. True. Thank you, Abigail. Thank you, everybody. All right, it's been... You all have been a godsend for this year. Just everybody just keeping everybody sane for the crazy year that is 2020. Whew. All right. Getting some energy now. I decided to have a Red Bull after all. <clears throat> Tappy stream time. Shh. Get out of here with your feels. Trying to make me go on a feels trip while photographing the stars? How dare you? How dare. Just here to be an enabler? Oh my god, Jude. <laughs> Thank you so much, Jude. And, yeah. You all pushed me to get the super expensive uh, telescope and stuff. But you know what? It opened up a lot of really, really cool doors. So, um, thank you for uh, pushing me to actually invest in something that I that I love so much. Because typically I wouldn't have done that. I don't like spending money on myself. I like spending money on the kids or other people. Or like charities and stuff like that. I very, very rarely ever buy something for myself. Um, so thank you all for pushing me to do it. What do you call something that's half fish and half deer? A murder! 
a murder. Murder! Oh my god. <laughs> Empoleon, thank you for the super chat. You know what? It's bedtime. Tag, you wearing fishnets? How did you know? How do you know? <laughs> murder. What is going on here? What kind of craziness this is? All right, Sophia. It's brown chicken, brown cow time, baby. Where are you at? I need me a baby. Ooh, level five fishing. I'm guessing we want to go with Fisher and not Trapper, right? I'm assuming that's the choice, but I don't know. So I'm letting chat kind of figure this one out for me. Eve Ho indeed. All right, Fisher. Boom. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. Ooh, our photographs are looking so good. Although we did have another issue with our guiding. Just a tad. But it didn't mess up the photo, so that's good. Oh, yeah. Wait, you don't want to talk to me today? Where are you going, ma'am? Excuse me. Whoops. Fine. I didn't want to love you anyways. Ah, uh, for tags, treat yourself, fun, Lini. Thank you so much. Thank you. You're a wonderful human. I greatly appreciate it. Hopefully, I'll be able to do the giveaway for the astrophotography. So I'm going to do a giveaway first um, for just a amount that en that somebody can use specifically with one of their cameras. And then in a couple months, like I think it's going to be in November, I'm going to do one for a full blown set because there's a couple new things that I'm waiting to release. And I would like to give that away instead of just forcing something now. Because a lot of stuff are out of stock. Wouldn't happen to have a list of mods? I don't have an updated list. It's mainly just... Well, actually, we've added a lot of stuff recently. I don't have a full list. I'm sorry. Uh, I'd be in and out watching tonight. Little man said to miss some as he has a run. Oh, man. Would have the space-tastic night, Mr. Taggy. Erica, I wish you and your family the best. And, um... Actually, when you get some time message me on discord so i can send you guys some uh astrophotography photos i'm still waiting on a printer to come in stock but i will do it how can i get one in stock i guess i could order one just from the, the deviant art but I, I did add the mod that changes the daylight cycle i did i like it <clears throat> Any merch codes right now? Um, not aside from the ones that you can get as a, as a platinum tier member, I think. Is it on the telescope? I don't know how photography works. So I am using a dedicated astrophotography camera. So I'm not using like a DSLR. I'm using what's called what's called a CCD camera. So it's built specifically for astrophotography. I just realized there's a festival today. Didn't care package for you in the fam soon. Oh. But it's not snacks? Connie, thank you. I'm super excited. I had so much fun with the the unboxing the other day. Even though I'm like awkward in front of the camera and was sweating to death because that, apparently that's what happens when I have lights in my face. <laughs> I'm a weird human, okay? But I did enjoy it quite a bit. And I'm thinking Sunday we'll do the Asian food box opening during the live stream. Connie, thank you. Just almost passed out going to the bathroom. Jiro, how did the how did the surgery go today? Are you gonna release the QA video anytime soon? Maybe we'll do the QA with the Asian food box. So we'll we'll scroll through and answer questions in there. Since this way it'll be in focus. Even though this unboxing was also out of focus because I put the stupid microphone there. Well, I guess what time does that uh, what time does that event start? Oh, thank you, Darcy. Have you made the children sleep on the sleep on the corgi butts yet? I have not. They're on my couch, so I suppose I've been sleeping on the corgi butts or napping on them rather. Whew.
it's just such a nice relaxing game to do for astrophotography too. Right, so I do want to check and see how our photos are looking. And we'll probably start processing it. Well, actually, we'll wait until we have all 10. I think we have four done right now. And then I want to see where the eye of God is. Because that's something I really, really want to photograph. Um, I don't know if we're going to get to do it tonight, though. So maybe what we can do tonight is take H alpha of both of them tonight. Rather than trying to force one color photo. So we won't get a color photo tonight. But we get to see two black and white photos of um, of two really cool nebula. What do you guys think about that? And then we'll get the, the rest of the color data in the next one. This festival. What time does this stupid festival start? All right, well, we're waiting for this festival to start. So let's check our color or our, our data here. And then I'll show you where the, uh, called the Helix Nebula or the Eye of God because it looks like an eye, like literally like an eye in the sky is watching. Crazy looking. Display capture. Move El Chato. Oh, see, we had another issue with our, with our stuff here. I don't know what caused that bump because that was the only one. So this right here is our, is our dither. That's unfortunate. I think that was the only one that did that, too. Yep. Alright, so we'll have to delete that one photo. This one did it a little bit, too. Man. Alright. Well, we can edit all that out. It'll be fine. Have you ever had Grippos? Um, if not, I'm sending them. I have no idea what that is. Not a clue. I only ever have guiding issues during live streams. I don't know why. Maybe it's because I'm like rushing a little bit faster, like more than I usually would. That's the only time I ever have issues. I don't get it. All right. So actually, if you all are wondering where this is in the sky, so this is the, this is Polaris, the North Star right here. Um, so to find that, actually I can show you all a little bit here. If you're wondering where in the sky, so you can actually look outside for yourself and see this. Um, if I could do the constellation lines. There we go. Um, so if you look for the Big Dipper in the sky, this is going to be the one that you're usually able to see, which is right here at the bottom left. Um, the edge of this Big Dipper right here, so like the edge of the scoop, always points to the North Star. And then if you can see the Little Dipper in your sky, which is right here, the end of the Little Dipper is the North Star. So if you could see the Big Dipper and the Little Dipper, then you can you could always see exactly where the North Star is. It's going to be probably the brightest star in your sky anyways. Uh, so we are just a little northeast of that. If you're wondering where we're looking at in the sky. Uh, now, if you want to photograph the Eye of God, Helix Nebula what we're going to find it under here. I don't want to look at the galaxy. No, 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 no. Nebula. What is the really bright red star in the sky? So there's a couple right now. One's going to be Mars. The other one's going to be Jupiter. Um, It's going to be... And you can tell it's Jupiter because it's, there's going to be another bright one right next to it. Here, I'll show you in a second. Um, Because it's going to be in the, our view... Helix Nebula. There we go. Uh, so you can see Jupiter here, and then you can tell that's Jupiter because Saturn's going to be right next to it. Um, so if you see this really super bright star, that's Jupiter. That's a planet. And then Saturn's going to be right next to it. Mars is right down here, so it's going to be the reddest star in the sky. But it's going to be really low on the horizon for those of you in the northern hemisphere. Uh, but this is the Eye of God right there. It's beautiful. You ever heard it had Grippo? Oh, uh, Tabby Cat, thank you again for the super chat. I've never. What is it? This should be my astronomy class instead of the one I'm taking right now, learning more with Tag. <laughs> you got to share the streams to your astronomy class. North Star is the 49th brightest star in the sky. Thank you, Christopher. Space is so cool. Indeed, it is. So this is what I want to photograph tonight as well. So if you're wondering what this is, this is actually really, really cool. This is considered... This is a planetary nebula. So in about 4 billion years from now, our star is going to do this. Our star, the sun, 
is going to start doing this. This is when the Earth is going to be pretty much obliterated. Uh, because as a star, um, kind of, I don't know, how do I want to describe this? So eventually during a star's life cycle, our star is going to become a red giant. It's going to start shedding its outer layer. Um, and when it sheds its outer layer, eventually it's going to become a white dwarf. And if you, I don't know if you guys can see this, but there's a star right here. This is a super condensed star. This is a white dwarf. So what we're, what we're looking at is... Uh, the outer layers that this star has shed, uh, which just looks absolutely beautiful. Uh, so we're seeing this outer layer here, and then the white dwarf right in the middle. Well, it's actually moved a little bit from the middle because it's, you know, probably been millions of years since this happened. Um, but yeah, so that's what a planetary nebula is. It's a star that has shed its outer layers, and it's beautiful. There's so many amazing ones. And eventually, our star is actually going to do this. It's going to become a red giant, it's going to shed its outer layers, and it's going to become a white dwarf, because our star is too small to actually go supernova. Um, and so it's going to look like this one day. Um, but the Earth will be gone before this actually happens, because when the star, when our sun becomes a red giant, we'll actually end up inside of it. It was a very long time from now, though. <laughs> Four billion years this is a long time. Uh, let's go back to the bubble nebula. Because uh, basically when the star actually becomes a red giant, it's going to become so large that it's going to completely engulf the Earth. <laughs> dot, 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 nerds! <laughs> Alright, so let's make sure that we're not getting any more errors. We might not get a super good photo tonight. We had that happen exactly the same time again. What is going on? Something's funky. I don't appreciate that. It's literally happening at the exact same intervals. Something, Something's going on. With software or something. Because it's perfectly fine and then exactly the same interval we have this weird declination error. Uh, so let's see here. I just want to see what this looks like here in a couple of seconds to see if we should continue looking at this or not. I just want to see. Yep, it did it again. Okay, we need to. Are we getting errors here? Yep, we got another error. Okay. You know what? Let's see if we can photograph the Helix Nebula now. Just because this one's starting to piss me off. <laughs> I'd never have these declination issues, especially with this new mount. And especially where it's the exact same time every time. Very weird. Super frustrating, though. My friend is really obsessed with the moon. I'm hoping it's just a phase, though. <laughs> Shell. I see what you did there. Well done, Shell. Well done, indeed. All right, we're going to go ahead and I'm going to just double check the... Or mount again. I'm just going to double check the balance. Even though for some reason I'm not really able to tell how well balanced it is. And we'll just pop back into Stardew for a second here. So I'm just going to run outside. Check the balance one more time. And then we should be good. The unfortunate thing is we start streaming right when it gets dark. And I really can't check the guiding fast enough so maybe i mean i can't wait till it gets darker sooner uh molly thank you for the super chat all right i'll be back in like a minute
and we're back sorry everybody all right so since we had a momentary since i had to reset the uh the scope and whatnot let's see if we can i don't know i've never actually tried to look at this before so i don't even know if we can get a view no i don't want to open this up where'd my chat go there it is baby come back that's better i want to see if we can see it i have never actually gotten to look at it before like in my telescope i've never even tried to see if i can get a look at it i saw a documentary on how ships are kept together riveting <laughs> absolutely riveting since we talked about this for so long now i'm super curious to see if we can actually get a lock on it can't salute. Oh, yeah. Helps if I unpark the scope. If we can actually see this, we're going to photograph this for the rest of the night. And I'm thinking we might just see it. So I, I looked at Saturn and Jupiter. They're pretty, pretty far to the south, which is good. Obviously, they're literally south. And I think this is just on the other side of my tree. Not 100% sure, but I'm like 20% sure. Just got here, you're working on the Lagoon Nebula? No, nah, we actually finished the Lagoon Nebula. We finished it. All the clouds are actually out of the sky too now, so. Let's see if we can actually see this bad boy. And then we will see if we can actually plate solve. Oh, that was gold. Really wanted to get the pictures printed on those metal sheets for you? Oh, fake hat. Thank you so much. Now that I know that that's... I didn't even realize that that was really a thing, so... I would definitely love to see that. You want to clean my desktop? Yeah, the, uh... The streaming computer desktop is a mess just because I always have to throw... I basically save a ton of stuff to my desktop so I can... Uh, edit thumbnails and stuff. I don't think we can see it. Yep. <laughs> That's a hard nope. So if we go over here, I'm pretty sure we can see this star. There's a satellite or something right there. I don't know what that is. It's moving really slow for a satellite. I don't think we're going to be able to see this yet. I think it's too low in the sky. Yeah. All right. I had to give it a shot since we, you know, just went and rebalanced everything for the second time tonight. Uh, Grippos are a spicy chip that is praised here in Kentucky. I got you, though. Your life will be changed forever. Ooh. Oh, ho, ho. nice. I'm learning a lot about space and platypus. Why are we learning about platypus? That's the real question here. Uh, so this is towards the core of the Milky Way. I want to see what kind of frame we have. So this is the, this is the Eagle Nebula, which I've been wanting to photograph as well. Which now that we are a lot closer in, I think we can get a pretty good photo of that. Also known as the Pillars of Creation, if you've seen the Hubble telescope photo of it, which is pretty nice. So at 500 likes, will you TNT a planet? Oh my god. <laughs> it's dynamite. Christopher, thank you for the super chat. And I have no idea you dynamite a planet. I wish we could do some planetary photography, though, but I don't have a scope big enough for it. What is that? What is this? Huh. What, what the hell is this? Does it not have a name? What the hell is this? Looks like a supernova of some sort. Or a very faint planetary nebula. What the hell is this? It doesn't have a name. You don't have a scope big enough for this? This looks like a... What is this? 
It's got no name. I kind of want to photograph it just on the sheer fact that it doesn't have a name. We shall name it Big Explody Boy. Right, so there's the Bubble Nebula. I'm curious about that. I'm going to have to pin that sometime for, uh, for a photo. Because it has piqued my curiosity. <laughs> Unpark? Yeah. Yeah. My friends, venomous equals IT bite stings. You, you get hurt. Snakes and bees. Poison equals you bite it. It hurts you. Example, some toads. Chloe, thank you. I'm assuming this is a conversation I missed out on. Just finished some dark coconut rum. Bring the jokes. I put my grandma on speed dial the other day. I call it Instagram. Oh my god. That's a good one, Tiffany. Thank you very, very much. Instagram. Good lord. Sweet baby Jesus. You should check on Beetle Geese. I wonder if, uh, where it is. I mean, I don't have, like, the great telescope to actually like read data from beetle geese but beetlejuice good old beetlejuice custom so we got to go to bubble boy so while that is doing its thing there is i don't even think i don't think beetlejuice is in the sky right now Beetle geese. <laughs> it's beetle goose. You should name it Chalupa. Oh my god. Hey, Sheebies, how you doing? What it do, what it do. What time it is? And how long have we been streaming? I guess we've been streaming almost an hour, right? And we still haven't figured, finished our photos on here. This is atrocious. But the thing is, so this is usually what I do, like, whenever we start setting up the mountain again, is I spend one night literally just getting the the guiding and everything perfect. So theoretically, we should have waited to stream, but I was so excited to finally do another stream. Everything will be fine. You guys just get to see the whole annoying process now. If you're an American in the living room, what are you in the bathroom? European. <laughs> Who's the butt of the earth now? <laughs> Thank you for the super chat, Jude. Thank you very, very much. Why does it keep wanting to auto select something that's not even a star? Like, for why? I probably need to. You know what? I am probably having issues with guiding tonight because I haven't done a calibration. So, you know what? Before we do this, we're going to calibrate. Because I haven't calibrated to the weight of this mount yet, which I really shouldn't have to do. We'll try and make it work one more time. If not, then we're going to calibrate, and then that should fix it. I did not think about that. Did not think about that. It'll be fine, they said. It'll be fine. No, 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 no. We want to connect the camera. I'm so happy that it's like a nice cool night because now the camera like cools down like instantly. It's super nice. And we're going to stack these images here in a couple minutes. There we go. God, what do I keep doing? I feel dumb and can't find the Lagoon Nebula in the Astrophotography channel. Um, I just posted it. It's in the unedited... Um, ch Are you looking for the unedited data or the edited data? It's in there. I know I shared it. It's on the Twitter as well. On the Twitter sphere. 
Let's go grab our cheese. Oh, sweet, sweet. Excuse me, cow. Get out of the way. Have you had babies yet? We have not wooed her enough to have the babies. It's super disappointing. I'm disappointed in myself. When I decided looked up 90 degrees east and I saw the Arcturus star. Nice. Hey, Lone Wolfkins, thank you for the super chat. I'm glad we're getting everybody into a little bit of astronomy. It's super amazing. The things that you can learn and see are just, it's just beautiful. Ginger is teaching us about platypi. Can I teach us about lemurs? <laughs> I guess so. What is going on in here tonight? Y'all are awesome. I would say weird, but weird is cool, so. Y'all are cool. Did we already? Yeah, we purchased the thingy move over already. If you stick to this new telescope, you can really build a bond with it, and your camaraderie will make the difference. You could bond with it. I'm just going to be, like, reading it bedtime stories and stuff. Rap, thank you for the super chat. We're all being big-brained? Hell yeah. <laughs> don't forget about the festival. I don't know what time it starts. I've been trying to get to it, like, for a while now. I can teach about sharks next? Hell yeah. Have our own version of Shark Week? Where the hell did I leave Chalupa? Where's my horse? Alright, where's Abigail going? Abigail, why are you just walking in the streets? What you doing? What? It starts at 10 p.m.? Sweet baby Jesus. Alright, I guess we'll go gamble then. Until 10 p.m. Ring-tailed lemurs. The ones from the movie Madagascar are actually endangered, and even though people think they're common. Indeed. <clears throat> the coconut rum speaks again. My friend's bakery burned down last night. Now his business is toast. Oh no. That's so sad. This is what happens when my interest is piqued. I go on a research rampage. About platypuses? Platypi? Can we name the telescope Pavlov? It's sure to ring a bell. Oh my god. Heather. I think... <laughs> oh my god. A dad joke and a name for a telescope. Beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. Can, also, can anyone teach me algebra since my professor can't? Are they? Is your professor still asking questions about you? It feels like your professor is more trying to date you than they are trying to teach you about... Uh, anything can i not f i don't want to fish here i want to play we need we need coins <laughs> we need a thousand just gotta bet the big money right fishing for coins do we want to play regular blackjack down here? Ooh, definitely not hitting on a 17. Ah! 16 and a 3? Give me my money. Oh, yeah. Seventeen and a five. I'll keep this. Yeah, baby. You can't stop senior coconut rum now. Oh my god. People who take care of chickens are literally chicken tenders. But it would be very wrong to eat them, sadly. Taryn Michaels, thank you for becoming a gold tier member. Welcome to the community. Thank you so much. Herba, what it do, girl? What it do? Come on. Come on. Yeah, baby. All right, all right, all right. Sadly? I don't know what you're talking about. I definitely said, I didn't say sadly. I don't know what you're talking about. Gotta play for that big money now. He's got a two. Hit me, baby. I'll stay there. Oh, 
all my money's. All my money's gone. We're not subscribed for <laughs> cannibalism. <laughs> Give me more. I wish we could buy more than 100 coins at once. Stupid, stupid, stupid. Nope! Stop trying to fish in the casino! What am I doing with my life? What would you call a camel that has no hump? Humphrey. It's a good camel name. I approve of this message. Come on, baby. Come on, baby. Yeah! What type of conversations do electricians talk about? Current events. <laughs> Y'all are on fire today. 13? Ugh. Yes! Is that enough for a top hat? Hold on. How much is the top hat? 8,000? Man! Refusing to go to the gym is a form of resistance training. I agree with that statement. Tiff and I thank you for the dad joke. On fire tonight. On absolute fire. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Yes! Just checking our photo. Alright, we didn't have any errors that time, so that's good. New game? Yeah. Hit me, baby. One one more time. Again. Hey. All right, we got 5,000. We're moving up in the world. Oh, no. I just had to say it, didn't I? Has anyone sent you a top hat yet? Not yet. I lost again? Oh my god. Are we about to lose everything right now? We were doing so good. I just want my stupid top hat. No! Jacqueline, thank you so much for upgrading to a gold tier membership. Thank you so much. Stamp Stamp, have a wonderful night. Get some extra sleep for me as well, please. Double or nothing? I'll just do a new game. Since we're weird anyways, you'd better have your money ready if you want to buy a platypus. Because the bill is up front. Oh my god. Now we got platypus jokes up in here? What is happening tonight? Oh my god. 14 and they got an 8? 17? Oh my god. Yes! All right, a nine and a six, which is 15. They got a one. Ah! Uh, all right, do I hit or stand? I'm leaving it up to the chat. Everyone, please up the look up the most unique lemur. The II, the AA, you won't regret it. They are very special at the museum. Her, do you think we're allowed to take pictures? Me, no. I think they need to stay on the wall. Oh my God. Christopher, what do you call friends that love math? Algebros. Y'all want me to hit with a 15? Oh! Making me hit with a 15. Sweet baby Jesus. The ham sandwich walks into a bar and orders a beer. Bartender says, sorry, we don't serve food here. Oh my god. Museum, thank you for the super chat. Come on, uh, four, 15, 23. There goes all of our money. Look what you did. Look what you did. Making us lose all the things. This is a rough go at gambling. Yeah, this is why you don't gamble, ladies and gentlemen. The house always wins. Although I don't often lose money at, at Blackjack. Shout out to the best platypus, Agent P. What is going on here? Are we forming some kind of platypus army? Parry the platypus. 
What even is life? Oh my god, it's it's only 5 p.m.? What in Sam hell is going on here? I thought it was late. Hey, Kate, what's going on? I'm sorry you can't sleep, but we got you with that late night relaxing live stream goodness. We got you. Look at Sergeant Utters over here, stupid utter faced goat. Go check on our dinosaurs. We might actually have another dino hatched. Plus, we need to pet them. Hey, we need a dino name. Put it in chat. Put it in chat. Right meow. Or forever hold your spaghettios. Alright, something funky is going on with this. It doesn't make any sense. It's in, it's in the exact same spot every single time. Stabby? Soup? Agent P? Fine. Agent P it is. They're having the worst time at work and I can't even lurk? Oh no! Jenna, thank you for the super chat. I hope your night gets much better. I'm so sorry to hear that. I'll definitely tune in later. Jenna, I wish you the best. And sweet Caroline! Only contact she has with students is having us write essays on how cool math is and like, yes, math is cool. Can you teach me to solve a polynomial equation now? Also, the platypus lesson was amazing. I mean, at least you'll pass the math class? <laughs> like, what is this? Sweet Caroline, I'm so sorry. That's the most ridiculous thing ever. What do you call a genetically engineered cow? A mutant. Oh my god. What is happening? Did you hear Oxygen went on a date with Potassium? It went okay. Oh my god. But there wasn't much chemistry. Elowen, thank you for the super chat. Yes, the nerdiest of dad jokes. This is amazing. This is making my day. Wait, where's my... Yeah, there they are. Make some truffle oil, baby. Stop trying to eat it, you fool. Love how clueless you sound. A platypus walks into a bar owned by a duck. He finishes his drink and asks for the bill. So the duck build platypus. Oh my god. Sweet baby Jesus, Ginger. Things are going crazy tonight. I don't know how to feel about this. It's Perry, Perry, the dino boy, Agent P. I'm... <laughs> <laughs> Forgot to ask before little man went to sleep. Uh, Aunt Nebula in near future. He was curious. That was fast, but this that's no biggie if not Aunt Nebula. I don't know where that is. Hold on. Aunt Nebula. The Aunt Nebula. Ooh. That does look pretty cool. I think I have a strange feeling this is super small. Let's see if we can look at it. I don't know where it is. It might, it's probably, it's definitely not in my skies right now. Um, but maybe when it is in our skies, we'll, we'll be able to check it out. But it's definitely not in my skies right now. I would have done seen it already. Uh, but Erica, thank you for the super chat. How is it not 10 o'clock yet? You said it's very small and complex. It looks awesome and it is very small. I don't know if we'll have enough focal length to be able to photograph it, but we will definitely try and give it a shot. <clears throat> it looks awesome. Did you hear about the sick chemist? If you can't helium, you can't cure him, you'll probably have to bury him. Oh my god. Heather, thank you for the super chat. <laughs> oh my god. The fuel. The dad jokes are fueling me right now. Oh my god. You yeah, fishy, 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 fishy. You yeah, fishy, 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 fishy. Hey, got one. All right, hold on. We gotta check. It did it again. Okay, so there's definitely. We have to calibrate. Hold on. 
you don't have to see me do this. I'm just going to stop the guiding and then calibrate it because something is all. Oh, I think I know. I did a dumb, dumb, dumb. I didn't change the focal length of the camera in the guiding settings. <laughs> I did a super dumb. I was wondering why. I was like, this doesn't look like it's like actual guiding because it's it's a very. I just did a really dumb. Okay. Can we just pretend that I didn't do a dumb? Calibration is will be error prone for best results. Calibrate at a declination of. Uh, too bad. Do it. All right, we're calibrating now. So we switched from a uh, a focal length of about 500 millimeters to 1,050, and there's one setting in the calib in the PDH2, PhD2, whatever the hell it's called, where you have to set your focal length, and I did not do that, which is why we were seeing like a very patterned uh, declination error. I know what I'm saying probably doesn't make sense to anybody, but it makes sense to me. And we're going to have it fixed in like five minutes. It's running something right now to fix it. I tell you to look at Orion's belt, but it's a huge waste of space. I can't wait for uh, for Orion's Nebula. I can't wait to photo. It's going to be so beautiful. Have you all seen Orion's Nebula? Do you even know how beautiful it is? It's a big boy. Just wait. We're going to have a 3,000 millimeter scope one of these days if I can... Uh, I'm just going to sell my car. Who needs a car, right? When you can look at space. We'll just use Ashley's car. You have not seen... You guys haven't seen Orion's Nebula? Get ready to have your brain exploded. This thing is beautiful. It's freaking stunning. I cannot wait to photograph it. It's just so... It's going to be... Easily the most beautiful thing that we'll photograph. Easily. It is, it is stunning. It makes me want to cry just looking at it. Gotta go hang out with the homies, but love the stream Starscape. Have a wonderful day. And thank you for hanging out with us. I know I missed another chat too. Let's keep the platypus theme going. What do you get when you cross a platypus with eight tentacles and octopus? Oh my god. That poor platypus. Why would you do such a horrible thing to it? Hold on, I got the photo here, so, uh, bam. This is the Orion Nebula. Orion was the easiest constellation for you to spot. I won't be able to, I will be able to see this in December. Look at that. God, it's beautiful. Where does Perry the Platypus go on vacation? Dubai, Dubai, du oh, Dubai, Dubai, Dubai. Oh my god. So what was the one to catch the late night stream? Hey, Ashley. Ashley and Jude, thank you for the super chats. Ginger, thank you so much. This is going to be... So this target here will probably... I'm going to spend about 30 hours, maybe even 40 hours photographing this one. Um, just because it's it's beautiful and I just want to... I want to do it justice. So I will be photographing this for about 40 hours because to get this detail in these dust lanes... Like, there's these really fine particles of dust through here. And, um, I just want to, I just really want to do this, this nebula justice. It's going to be so good. Uh, Orion on a blanket, please. It's my favorite, favorite, favorite. Absolutely. Absolutely. Time to hawk the car for a fancy scope. <laughs> I probably will. I want to, because there's, there's some... So I would love to do planetary stuff, and at that point, I'd be able to start doing research, too, and, like, start spotting, like, asteroids and start actually, like, plotting things in the sky at that level of, of stuff and actually contribute to, like, scientific developments with, like, in our solar system and stuff, which I think would be super cool. We don't need to do anything at this festival. Blinded by the beauty? Thank you, Nasty Beast. And indeed, it is beautiful. Beautiful indeed. X calendar of nebulas. That's the plan. That is the plan. We don't need to do anything in here. Orion Nebula was my PC background for quite a while. I need Orion blanket print, metal print, and whatever else I could get my hands on. 
Hell yeah. Ginger, thank you so much. Isn't there a shop? Agent P told me to sleep for when you're dead. <laughs> exactly. Well, to be frank with you, I'd have to change my name. Oh my goodness. Tiff and I, thank you for the super chat. And Momo, long time no see. What it do, Momo? How you been? Rewards respawn, though? I guess we'll go get the rewards then. Just want to check on our calibration. Does not move enough? We'll try it again then. Man. Trying to recalibrate this thing. Sometimes it's a bloody pain. Snag another golden pumpkin. All right, all right, all right. It's a relatively easy maze, right? We just gotta go around here. I actually don't remember how we got through this maze. What software do you use for processing the photos? I've only used IRAF, and to be honest, I hated it. I have never heard of that one. I use Astro... Uh, so... I use PixInsight. Oh, it's a fake chest. I use PixInsight in Photoshop. Um, PixInsight is a rather expensive program. There are free ones, and you could do it all within Photoshop, but PixInsight has a lot of software built in, or a lot of automated stuff built in that is just really, really nice. Um, so I highly recommend it because it's just, it makes life so much easier. But you can do all the same stuff in, in Photoshop. Um, as far as other things, there's, I haven't used anything else personally. I might get myself a Canon with a cool telephoto lens soonish. Hell yeah, Rachel. Hell yeah. The Canon, like, uh, TIs are usually pretty good for that kind of stuff, too. Like, for a good entry-level DSLR. Here during a stream. Catherine, what's going on? Thank you for the super chat. How are you doing? All right, we got the golden pumpkin. All right, there's a package for you. Oh, sweet. It's my new belt. Meh, not as good as I was expecting. I'll give it three stars. Sweet baby Jesus. Emily, well done. Y'all are on fire tonight. You wonderful, wonderful humans. On freaking fire. The further rewards have respawned to you. Yeah, but they're not good rewards. We don't need them. Uh, I want to have a. I want to have babies and catch some fish. And I want my tractor. Gonna take a ride on my big green tractor. Gonna make love with. So Sophie is asleep already. No. Man. I just wanted to make a baby. Made a lot of money today, though. <laughs> oh, we don't have any presents for our, for our baby. The Helix Nebula in Aquarius. It's absolutely gorgeous. Yeah. Uh, we just tried to look at it. We literally just tried, but we couldn't see it. I thought there was mail. There's no mail. Alright, sweet. It's still calibrating. This calibration looks like it's actually going to finish, so I think we're good. Okay. We need to go check our fishes. We gotta go down to the ocean. Why did the platypus think it was a spider? It had webbed feet. Oh my god. I also would like to say that Tim Tams are the devil. They are like crack. You eat one Tim Tam and you just... You just jones for more. They are too, too, too good. I'm also hungry now all of a sudden. Starving like Marvin. What do you say to a meat that is at risk? Sorry, buddy. Do you have... Oh my god. <laughs> buddy old pal. Oh, we got a new fishing rod we can buy because we hit level 5. It sounds like Canon has the RA, which is good for astrophotography specifically, which I may not get, but something in the R series for sure. Yeah, so the new RA is super good. Especially if you want like a one-shot color like Canon camera. And you can attach something like the Red Cat, uh, which I have linked in the description as well. Or not in the description, in my Discord for recommended stuff like the Red Cat tele telephoto lens. Or you could buy like a Canon one, but the Red Cat is just, it's so good. 
If you want nonsense to hang out with teachers, <laughs> we're second only to actual dads. Someone has to make the kiddos roll their eyes. Exactly. And Nancy Pierce, thank you so much for becoming a member. Welcome to the community. I just want my fishing rod. Hold on. I've got a, I've got a whole bunch of Asian snacks here. Ashley's gonna get mad at me. If just wait. Tara Smith, thank you so much for the super chat. How are you doing today? Here, yeah, fishy, 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 fishy. Chelsea, thank you so much for becoming a member. Welcome to the community. I kind of want to get an RA just so I can, like, showcase it. But I already have two Sony, like, really good Sony cameras. I can't really justify buying another one. Another DSLR. <gasps> Oh, we want the Iridium Rod. Yes. And then can we sell our stupid other rod? Oh my god. That there. Why can't I sell my fishing rod back to him? I'm gonna stab him in the face. Summer. Hello, dear. Would you like to say hi to everybody? Ashley is tired. Um. Hold on. Sorry, just having issues with this. Uh... guiding again, but I have to... Hold on. Alright, I got distracted. Um, brain not working so good for distractions right now. Alright, so I, I was trying to calibrate it, but it keeps failing because it's stupid. I hate this program sometimes. It makes me so angry. Whenever you try and calibrate it, it always gives you an, a stupid error, and it takes, like, hours to calibrate sometimes. It's so frustrating. But I just want to get some more photos on this, and I'm hoping that maybe things will work now. I should have knew... I should have known that we'd run into some sort of issue switching to a new scope so quickly without actually doing a bunch of stuff. Just cross your fingers and, like, lick your elbows, and hopefully we'll have some good luck on this one. We've already got a couple good photos. So, what time is it? It's already 10.50? All right, well, we'll keep photographing this then. So, I, I need to get so much data on this one because it's so faint to begin with that to really get a good photo, we need a lot of time on it. So, we'll just photograph this one for the most of the night, I guess. I doesn't read your super chats anymore. What you talking about, Erbo? I read your super chats every time I see one. I think what's happened is I've spoiled y'all too much reading everything. I I tried to do... Did you send one and I missed one? I did. Hope you're doing well today. Erbo, thank you for the super chat. I'm sorry I missed one. But the level of multitasking that I'm having to do with this and big brain things... Difficult. It is not easy. <laughs> Erbo, thank you for the super chat. And Chelsea and Tara, thank you for the super chats and for becoming a member. <laughs> Your name? Yeah, and Abigail's name is Stabigail. We're not, we're not allowed to call her Abigail anymore. Penny, would you like a fish? There you go. Would you like a fish? It. What in tarnation is this? I don't like it. <laughs> Take my fish or forever hold SpaghettiOs. I don't even know. Did you go back to having a stripper chicken to show your super chats? No, the alerts like don't really work anymore for some reason. So I just kind of gave up with it. I left Chalupa somewhere. I is so skilled at multitasking. Most streamers don't even read chats. Yeah, they don't. They don't. 
which is one thing that I made sure to do. Some people don't like it. Some people just want you to like do things and not interrupt the stream by reading chats, but it's my way of interacting with everybody, so. Some of my birthday funds for your big, it's your birthday, Momo? Happy belated or now birthday. Momo, thank you so much. That's so kind. As it gets later, my multitasking skills go away rather quickly. <laughs> Alright. We already gave... Maybe she'll like an Iridium ingot? Oh, thank... Oh, okay. She did not like that at all. Would you like... Can I milk you? I guess that works. Maybe if we go to... Maybe if we go into bed at like 11 a.m., that'll be like... Maybe this is her brown chicken, brown cow baby making time. Well, we got level six fishing, so that's good. We got a trap bobber and a spinner. What's a trap bobber? This is the highest level I've had in fishing in the game. Sophia, it's time for your morning milking. Come here. It snowed so much last night. Look outside. Oh, it is fall time. We should cuddle by the fireplace tonight. Maybe make some hot chocolate. Are you ready finally for the brown chicken brown cow baby making time the dance with no pants the horizontal tango are you ready to consummate our marriage finally sorry juniper berry seeds hell yeah went through a phase a few years ago where i'd like to mix up some spiced beverages i don't do that too much anymore though and i think these juniper berries are actually still good enough to plant and grow nice Trap bobber to catch really hard to catch fish. Ooh, Aaron, thank you. Yes! Gonna take a ride on my big green tractor. Something, something, something about going faster. Milking failed? I don't want to milk. I want to tractor things. How the hell do you tractor things? Why does it sound like a horse? What is this? Why are we bouncing up and down on it? Oh my god. Oh. Oh, Jesus! Gonna take a ride on my big green tractor. We're gonna give Sophia a ride on her big green tractor. Giggity! Excuse me, stupid thing. <laughs> We've been trying to have babies with Sophia for like a week now. I love that it sounds like a horse. Mowing snow? Yeah, why not? All right, so these juniper seeds planted in the winter takes 13 days to mature. So we do have a whole bunch of new crops now, if you didn't figure that one out. Uh, we do have a bunch of new crops. We've got Iridium Sprinkler Boys somewhere here. So we need to put one here. We need to put one here. And here. Hmm, that's sad for Panda Day. Put one here. And here. Perfect. And lady, you do have the Tim Tam challenge. You you bite both ends of the Tim Tam, use it, like, uh, stir your drink, your coffee, or hot chocolate, and eat the Tim Tam. I definitely have to do that, because that sounds delicious, and I will absolutely be doing that. 100%. And lady, thank you for the super chat. And Tiff and I, I haven't heard a tag joke in a bit and needs to be rectified. Uh, I saw a sign the other day that said, watch for children. And I thought, that sounds like a fair trade. Okay. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Thank you for the super chat. Tiff and I, thank you for the dad joke. Use it like a straw. Yes. But I don't know how you use it as a straw because it doesn't really, like, the ones I have have, like, innards. Chamomile seeds. 
Interesting. Are these also winter things? Plant in the spring. Why do I keep getting non thingies during thingy times? All right. Uh, I don't want spring seeds. I just want winter seeds. Hmm. For baby, you just lock them doors and turn them light. <laughs> just turn the lights down low. Something about doing things. Down low. <laughs> Winshay, thank you for becoming a member. Welcome to the community. Ah, oh, becoming a member at such weird times. Welcome, 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 welcome. I forgot how the song went, so I just kind of butchered it from there. Sell that pumpkin! You want some cheese? I start stupid fish. The platypus brings all the members to the yard. <laughs> it's a Tim Tam Slam. Hot liquid melts the inside. Hot chocolate and coffee are the best. Also works with cold milk. Proceed. Oh, I almost died. Like, forgot how to breathe in for a second. Chrissy, thank you for the super chat. I will definitely have to try that next time I make coffee, which will be tomorrow. Even Tag just moved into our new house and I'm relaxing with a nice Stardew stream. Hell yeah, devilish. Glad the move went well. Glad to see you here. Thank you. You want some Tim Tams? Gotta get you some Tim Tams. Oh, we need some... Some bait. Is it time? We got crab pots. A trap bobber causes... Causes fish to escape slower when you aren't reeling them in. Oh. <laughs> Tiffany. <laughs> Is Discord active? What do you mean? Partner brought a new pack of caramel Tim Tams. I may or may not have eaten all of the caramel Tim Tams already. I'll never admit to which one it is, but something may have happened to them. Okay, so I would like to try and see what our Bubble Nebula photo looks like edited. I know we have a lot of jacked up data, but maybe some of it will be good. My son asked me what our IP address was. I pointed to the toilet. Oh my god. Oh my god. Alright, let's do this. Put this over here like so. We'll click this button. Maybe. There we go. There we go. <clears throat> so see how this happens at the same spot every single time? So that is our calibration being an issue. Um, something, because this happens every single time and only in the same spot every single time. So something... Uh, either with our software or the calibration or something with the mount is causing this to happen. Because the balancing is perfect. I don't know what it is, but I will get it figured out tonight. Because it's infuriating me and it shouldn't be happening. And it's stupid. <laughs> it is so frustrating. Um, let's see if we can... So this is the program I used to process the data. And um, we're just going to try and see... See if we've got anything salvageable in here. I know we got a couple good photos. Uh, so let's make a new section. Nebula. Did we photograph anything of the, the bubble nebula? No, not yet. I know we took one photo a while ago. Bubble nebula. 
Then we will make a new folder for H alpha. And this is where all of our photos are. Let's see here. Nine. Man, it's been it's been 11 days since we were able to photograph anything. That's too long. I don't like that. Too long. Oh, that's supposed to go in there. All right. So I kind of want to, since we don't have a lot of data. I don't really want to waste any by not using any. And I think we can remove, I think we'll be able to remove some of the bad stuff. I think we'll be okay. Some of the stars have like these little star trails behind them. But I'm going to remove all that anyways. So typically, if we were doing this, we would remove every little issue that we had. But since we have so little time to be able to photograph tonight, and we're having issues with our whatever that declination error is, we're going to go ahead and just do this the way it is, just because I want to see what it's going to look like. And you all have been watching and waiting for it, right? Uh, so this is the one I was working on last time. So let's go to here, the Bubble Nebula. This is such a shame that this happened with a big boy telescope. I don't have flats for this yet, so I'm not going to be able to calibrate that part. I was not able to take any flats yet. Um, now this one we need to add manually. Add custom. Image. We need a dark frame. Filter. Oh, you know what? Hold on. So this, what this does, if you're wondering, this removes all of the bad data that might be in our, um, in our files. This is basically just generated from the camera itself. Uh, so this filter is going to be H alpha. Although that doesn't really matter. Filter doesn't really matter. Add bias. So this is going to remove any bad data that we have. And we got to go back here. And we need to use percentile clipping. Actually, one, two, three. No, we can do, do Windsor Eyes still. Click that folder and we'll run. So what this is going to do, whoopsie. This is going to run through and calibrate all of our data. And so for those of you that don't know, when we photograph these, we'll show the difference between one photo and our stacked photo. So when you are doing astrophotography, you're not just taking like one photo and then, and then that is it. You're actually taking multiple photos. So usually I try and aim for about 50 uh, images in each wavelength which are five minutes a piece. So quite a bit of data around. I usually try and aim for between five and seven hours of data on each target. And those are all stacked into one image. And this increases your signal and reduces your noise level in the photos to make them higher quality. Um, so we can go ahead and actually integrate these images here. So I'll show you the difference between them. And it'll be, it'll be really cool to see the I like showing the difference between one image and like a stacked image. Uh, nebula. Although it's not going to be a massive difference with how little uh, data we collected because we only got 10. I don't know. I can't. I don't feel like mathing right now. I think there's 12. I'm not 100% sure. Probably more than that. There's 11. And then we do Windsorize to remove that data. We'll go ahead and run this. So here you can see all the data that we removed. So if we blow this out so you can see all of this garbage. This is all stuff that's naturally created in our image sensor. So this is like the 
this is the noise of the camera that it makes on its own. And then we've also got these little artifacts here that it decided to remove too because they're just with some bad data there. So I'm hoping that we actually remove, this is going to be another level of data that was automatically removed. And this is what our final image is going to look like for this stacked information. Um, so we can pull this in and we'll just grab one of these right here. And so this is what our data actually looks like with just one image. You can see like there's these little artifacts here. So these white dots, all of this noise, everything is super noisy. Um, there's not a lot of detail here in the nebulosity. I mean, it's there, um, but it's not great. And then we have our stacked image. So substantially brighter. There's a lot more data in here. Um, you can see here that all of these little white artifacts are now removed because this, this is stuff that's created by the camera itself. So this is what the calibration does. Um, so with just 10 images, we've got a pretty decently detailed image here so far, which if I had like the seven hours, we'd get way more of this dust trail up here. Um, we'd pull out some more of this nebulosity in here. It would end up actually looking pretty good. Uh, so there's a couple of things here that we can do to kind of improve this. But so far, it's not looking bad. Considering our guiding is a little messed up, um, I have to, I'm going to spend the rest of the night calibrating it and getting things squared away. You can see here, like on some of these star edges, where it tried to remove some of these star trails here. Uh, there's like a little issue right there. Um, but yeah, this is what it's going to look like. We don't have the other data to be able to turn it into color today. But you at least got to see the process. And I think this is going to end up being really good once we actually get all the data. Everybody's just talking about bagged milk, and I'm here talking about stars and stuff. You should try the game called The Last Campfire on Switch. I've been wanting to play it, definitely. Y'all and your bagged milk. Y'all a bunch of weirdos. Mm-hmm. <laughs> get all the data and then some. Uh, but we're going to go ahead and stop here for the night. It's already been two hours. I can't believe it's already been two hours. Um, but thank you all so much for hanging out with me while we photograph the bubble nebula. I'm going to spend the rest of the night getting our mount calibrated with the new telescope. I'm going to collect more data on this. So that way, the next time we live stream, we'll actually be able to finish the color image of this. So if you enjoyed this and you want to see what the finished product is, definitely make sure to subscribe to the channel. And keep an eye out for a late night astrophotography live streams. So if we have a clear night tomorrow, which we should, um, we'll probably finish this up tomorrow. Or at least get pretty close to finished. Um, but thank you all so much for hanging out with me. Thank you for all the dad jokes. Thank you for talking about platypuses and bagged milk. You are all amazing. I hope you all have a wonderful night. And I'll see you in the next one.